everybody welcome and welcome back to my youtube channel and if you don't know who i am i'm alice babs and i welcome to my YouTube channel known as kate Black. so on this video i if you've not watched um, part one this is part two what are you doing here go and watch part one and then you come back to part two so on this video I will be talking about the struggles a fresher would face in university. So, welcome back. As a university fresher, new person in university, which is fresher, <clears throat> 100 level or direct entry to 200 level, you face a lot. Especially if you didn't probably go to boarding school when you were in secondary school. Or primary school or you've never gone to uncle's house or auntie's house for holiday before yes it's going to be very hard firstly homesickness moving away from home and adjusting to new environments can be challenging and can lead to feeling homesick yes you miss your mommy you miss daddy you miss brother you miss sister you miss everybody even your pets because at this point, <clears throat> you, even without that alone, just moving to a new environment can make you sick. Sometimes whenever I go back to school, I get sick from like the first week. I'm missing my hours. Even though I went to boarding school for six years, university now, almost done. So it's normal, fight. It's really normal, but you are going to be homesick. Uh, when you are preparing to leave your house before you even get to school, you probably would have started feeling the homesickness and all that. It is very normal, and you will get you will get through it. Yes, academic demands, university coursework can make can be more challenging in um, yes can be more challenging than high school, and freshers may struggle to adjust to the academic demands of university. But firstly, I would say it depends, though, on what you're studying, because in, let's say for science, because I'm a science student, I can speak for science. In your first year, which is your 100 level, you will technically mostly and most likely do all your courses for first semester and second semester is and are going to be your secondary school classes on hiring or SS1, SS2, and SS3. Yes. The major and hard ones, I guess. It just depends. Yes, so you will need to be more academically on the ground. If you are not more of a reading school person when you were in secondary school, you still have hope. Yes, I'm speaking from experience. A true life story from somebody. You still have hope that you can do better. When you get to university yes i'm telling you that so you should know that don't let anybody don't let mommy don't let daddy don't let your brother or your friends belittle you because you know who you are and you know what you can do because you are you so the third one is making new friends building new friendship in a university or in a new environment can be really challenging Especially if you're an introverted person, or should I say you're shy, like me. If you watch the first part, the part one, you would know what I mean when I'm saying this. Because I already spoke on the story there, so you should go and listen to that. I'm trying to speak for the next time. Yes, so you just have to make friends and you have to try to make friends. Even if you don't make friends. Make friends with your roommates. Very, very important because they are. Even if your roommates do not study the same course with you, or they are not even in the same department, or they are in science, they are in other departments, you have to still be friends with them. You have to socialize with them because your roommates are technically the only ones at that point that your lifesavers. Yes. I'm not, I'm talking, I'm talking, you should not, don't carry me, 
I'm just telling you the truth and the facts. Yes, thank you. So the next point I have is time management. Time management, balancing academic responsibilities with social life and extra um, extracurricular activities and other stuff can be very difficult. And freshers may struggle to manage their time. You still have to wash your clothes. You still have to go and buy food. Oh, one lecturer gave you an assignment. Oh, have this lecturer forgotten that it's not only his course that we are offering that is giving us assignments this much. And then another lecturer will come. Yes, you should not forget to bring your this. Okay, iron your lab coat. Oh, as a, an art student or something, you still have to read some literature books and all that. It is very normal. And we can't show you. That is all I have to say because it is very difficult. And those are the types of challenges we face as a fresher. Yes, it is very common. Probably if you join some other stuff in, in the university, like you join the church or join sports activities and all that, it can be very challenging because trying to juggle that with your academics and trying to, only if you are focused or you have the mind and the big for that. Just try your best. That's just it. Nobody's going to crucify you and be yourself, like I said. And the next one I said um, on my list is financial stress. University tuition fees and living expenses and um, living expenses can be a financial burden for many students, leading to stress and anxiety. Yes. Sometimes you tend to have to pay for it this, pay for that, pay for your departmental fee, pay for student levy, pay for this levy, pay for that levy apart from your school fees. And especially if you are the student sponsoring yourself through school, it is very normal that you are going to have too much expenses to cater for financial stress and all that. You will be stressed. All you just have to do is calm yourself down. You are going to go through it and you will pass it and you will finish it and it will work out good for you. Like, all you just need to do is know what you are going to put your, don't waste your effort, don't waste your money. It just depends on what you intend to do in investing. Yes, I'm just being frank with you. So the next one is wealth and well-being. The transition of university life can be so can also impact a fresher's life physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, everything. When I mean physically, if you you're you are in a very big school, you have to work and all that to get to class. Like in my school, we don't have any means of transportation except your leg. Our school is big, but it is something you can walk with your legs. So even if you are late for class, there's nothing like, oh, Mara, stop there. Okada, stop. Um, shuttle, stop. No. You will walk to class and you will get there. It can help you mentally and it can also break you mentally. It can help you emotionally and break you emotionally. Yes. If you end up calling like, okay, let me have a relationship and all that. Try to maintain your self balance. That is going to be very good for you. Yeah. So the last point I have right here is coping with failure. The university can be competitive, and freshers may struggle with academic setbacks, rejections from clubs and organizations, or other disappointments. Probably you wanted to have a boyfriend, you wanted to have a girlfriend in your first year, place that life. Yes, it is normal. You can fail. Somebody will tell you, no, I'm not interested. They will insult you and all that. It is very normal. And when it comes to like in some kind of extracurricular activities, like sports activities, you join for the first period and they're like, you're not good at it. Or you're singing and then someone tells you, you're going up key. When it gets to some point, they will tell you, you have to drop down from the group because you are not making it work and it has to work only if they believe in you or they just want you to, they just want to see you progress more they can still keep you somebody among them can still train you and all that it is very normal and you can have some 
academical setbacks if you are not coping or somebody is not explaining your um, the lecturers are not explaining well to you you can go to the library find someone or you just use your youtube google your roommates just anybody it just depends if that's for if you're an introvert you should find a way to help yourself and it is very important for pressures to recognize these struggles are normal and that there are resources and support available to help them cope and thrive and strive in the university environment in the new environment that you are in the university offers a variety of services such as counseling academic support social events to help pressures adjust to university life yes so like what I had a time was the reason in my school why they create dinner nights as at that time the reason was if you as a fresher get to the school you'll not be like oh this school is all about book 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 and church 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 because I because I attend a missionary university about church 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 so that you know that okay yes they want you to have this dinner night as a refreshment of the struggles and everything that you have been through for the first semester and then you can relax for your second semester while you're still having classes although second semester is always like a rush and it's always very fast and you have to be very smart and wise about it so yes and get ready for the next video which i will be talking about on how to cope in university on my tips tips and how to cope in university so yes i hope this video helped you or helped somebody i just hope it helped somebody and yes please share this video to your friends family your aunties your mommies your daddies your cousins your uncles anybody just share it to your friends send it to somebody that can send it to somebody that can help somebody's life to know these things are very normal and not to stress themselves. Do not stress yourself if you're watching this and you are a university pressure. Do not stress yourself. It is very normal and you are going to get through it because you will be done. So as long as I have gotten to where I am now, almost done, you can do it. What is there? It's just few years depending on your course and all that. So yes. It can work out for you and it will be good for you. Just believe in the God you serve. And yes, please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel. And always, and I still remain Alice Babs. And may God's grace always be your shield. Thank you for watching. Bye.